see that. <laughs> okay. Who is someone you see five days out of the week? Not your friends or your family. It's your teacher. Teachers are people we tend to forget about, and they tend to blend in with the rest of the crowd during your everyday routine. But teachers are not just people. They are helping to create a well-educated future. I am majoring in education, and throughout my journey in the field, I have discovered how incredibly low teacher salaries are. But I have also discovered how much work a teacher has to do in order to maintain a great classroom, and the numbers do not add up. Today, I'm going to talk about what we need to do to give teachers the amount of pay they so rightfully deserve. Every day, we continue to lose so many teachers because they are not being recognized for all the hard work they put into their careers. In fact, 44% of the teachers leave within five years of the profession. According to Jen, a freelance writer, it takes a lot of education to become a teacher and, in, and education. And the U.S. has never been a more expensive investment. Requirements vary by state, but teachers are typically required to complete a bachelor's degree and a teacher's preparation program, which sometimes requires a master's degree. And generally, before anybody is allowed to get in front of a classroom, they have to get a state-approved teaching certification, which usually requires spending time as an unpaid teacher. After being in multiple education courses and discovering how many tests and requirements are necessary to even get into the teacher's program, I can assure you that it is not fun and requires a lot of effort. Only individuals who truly want to teach make it through. As you can see, this requires a lot of money and can result in financial issues. Sadly, this is what is happening to our teachers across America, and many are having to either find a second job or quit teaching altogether. A teacher, Megan, spoke out and explained to be able to afford to remain in a career that she says is her calling. Megan has been held various part-time jobs from teaching after school programs to working as a trainer from home visiting programs, in addition to working 65 or more hours per week as a classroom teacher. While she loves teaching, she says, Passion does not put food in your mouth. This is continuing to be the case for many teachers, and it isn't right. We are now facing multiple issues with finding individuals to pursue this career because of this. Now that we have discussed why teachers should have increased pay, I want to dive into how we can make this happen. One excellent idea from Jason Richwine is teachers who show strong performances should quickly move up to the pay scale. While those who perform poorly should not be let go or, den or denied raises. This is a great idea because people love being recognized for their hard work. This is a great way to not only raise teacher salaries, but make teachers feel more appreciated for all the hard work they do. To get more technical, teachers are making a significant amount of less money than other college graduates. In fact, by Caitlin Mulhier, public school teachers earn average weekly wages of 1137 in 2017, while other college graduates working full-time earned $1,476 per week. Another alarming statistic is how even after controlling for various factors that affect pay, such as education, age, and years of experience, teachers still earn 18.2% less than comparable work. Not only is this difficult to become a teacher, once you get into the profession, the difficulty levels increase significantly. With all the off-the-clock hours teachers have to put into their jobs to grade assignments, come up with lesson plans, constantly having to make sure the classroom is organized and students are understanding material, it really is a slap in the face of how little the teachers, how little the pay is compared to other careers. However, an idea will require more time, but still a wonderful idea is presented by U.S. Senator Camelia Harris is the federal government would provide the first 10% of funding needed and states would be to close the remainder of the teacher pay gap. For every dollar a state contributed towards increasing a teacher's salary, the federal government would invest $3. To wrap up my speech, I want to express how big of an issue this is across America. So many people agree that the amount teachers make is a massive problem that needs to be erased. In Sydney Long's article, she sums up that pretty well. Overall, Americans demonstrate a deep respect for public school teachers. 
stating that beginning teachers with a bachelor's degree and teaching certificate should earn an average starting salary of approximately $43,000, a, a substantial increase over the current average starting salary of $35,300. As a future teacher, I strongly agree with this statement, and I have had friends in this degree change majors due to teacher pay. Clearly, this is not acceptable and is turning away some amazing people from teaching our future generation. I hope by the time I graduate, this problem ends.